In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use a VLOOKUP, also known as a vertical lookup. VLOOKUPs are really powerful formulas in Excel that allow you to search for certain information within a range of cells. Let's walk through an example to learn how to use the formula. Imagine you're hosting a barbecue and you'd like to invite a few friends from work. You have access to the company directory, which contains all the contact information for everyone who works at your company. You also have a list of people you'd like to invite. What you're missing is the phone number of each of the people that you'd like to invite. One way that you could get the phone number would be to manually search through the directory for each of the people on your list and then copy and paste their phone number. An easier way to do it would be to use a VLOOKUP. So let me show you how to do that. Let's navigate back to the Invitees tab and select cell B2. And we'll double click on it to edit and then type equals and VL. Then I'll select VLOOKUP from the drop down menu. As you can see, a VLOOKUP takes four values a lookup value, table array, call index num, and range lookup. Let's start with the lookup value. The lookup value is what you're searching for. So in this case, I want to search using the invitee's name. So I'll select column A2. Then I'll add a comma. The next thing I need to enter is the table array. The table array is the range of cells where I'm searching for my information. In this case, I want to look in the directory. So I'm going to navigate to the directory tab, and then I'll select all the data in the directory by clicking and dragging from column A through C. I like to select the entire column because it makes it easier to autofill the formula. If I only selected certain cells within the directory, I would need to freeze cells and it would make it more difficult to autofill. So now I'm going to add a comma. Now I need to add the call index number. The call index number is the location of the information that I'm searching for within the range of cells that I'm looking. So in this case, I'm looking for the phone number. The phone number is the second column within the range of cells that I'm looking in. Column A is the first column, B is the second, and C is the third. If instead the range of cells where I was looking started at column B, and went from column B to column C and column D, column B would be call index number one. In this case, it's simply the second column. So I'll add a two and then another comma. The last parameter I need to enter is false. So I'm going to type false in all capital letters. Essentially, this tells Excel that I want an exact value to be returned and not an estimated one. The alternative is to type true and say that you'd like to receive an estimated value. We won't get into this in this video because it's a little bit more complicated. So we'll just type false so we get an exact answer. Now that I've entered the formula, I'll press enter on a PC or return on a Mac. It looks like we got something. So let's go ahead and drag the formula down by clicking and dragging in the bottom right corner to autofill the formula down to the last person in my list. Great. So the last thing we want to do is check that our formula is correct. Let's go ahead and check using Johnny Roberts. So I'm going to copy Johnny Roberts phone number by pressing command C on a Mac or control C on a PC. And then I'll go over the directory tab and search for it by clicking command F or control F on a PC. Then I'll paste it in pressing command V on a Mac or control V on a PC and then I'll press enter. Great, so it looks like this is indeed the phone number for Johnny Roberts. It's always a good idea to check your work. I usually like to check it with a few different samples. So let's go ahead and check for Juan Baker as well to make sure that my VLOOKUP is correct. I'll search for it in my directory, press enter, and we'll see that this is in fact the phone number for Juan Baker. So that's how you do a VLOOKUP in Excel. Good luck.